What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Stella, aka SCLA, aka Fairy Black Shop, baby. I hope that each and every one of you have a very blessed and a beautiful day and that you are saying kind things to yourselves and to others. Before I jump into this reading, I'd like to give a quick little disclaimer that I am not legally responsible for anything that you do or do not do based on this reading. This is all strictly advice and suggestion based on what I see in the cards. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, which goes way more in depth and is in tune to your energy specifically, you can do so through my email or through my Etsy shop. And without further ado, Pisces, let's go ahead and jump right in. Pisces, 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 welcome to your love reading. Thank you for once again letting me tune in and tap into your energy. I hope that you're having a blessed and a beautiful day. Okay, spirit. What kind of person is Pisces dealing with? Hopefully it's not the same Scorpio. Okay, it's definitely the same Scorpio. Uh, this... The last reading I did for you guys about the Scorpio bad juju has a lot of baggage. Um, but maybe I'm reading for a different group of Scorpios. It does not look, or Pisces, it does not look like it. It does not look like it. So we have the Hierophant and the Sun in reverse with the Page of Wands. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's looking very promising so far. Okay. There it is. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. This person is hiding behind a lot of masks. This person is carrying a lot of baggage. They think that you are, in a sense, obligated to take care of them. That everything that you have, you should provide for them without them having to do anything simply because of who they are, simply because of your love for them and your ability to empathize and care for people. They feel entitled to your blessings, okay? So this is just, this Scorpio, like, is just bad news all around. I'm telling you, this is just not, it's not good, okay? They're just very greedy. They're money hungry. Like, it looks like it's very promising on the forefront. Like, look, look at all these colors. Look at all this charm. Look at all this, like, this glamour. Look at Look at how I move, like Rico Suave, baby, like, ooh, some Marilyn Monroe type shit, or, you know, whoever, whoever, like, this be looking good and charming, you know what I mean? But behind closed doors, there's this shadow aspect that we don't really talk about, that we don't really deal with, you know, behind the glamour, behind the fame, there's this, okay? Like, straight up, right off the bat, this person, like, is just... Like, they have a toxic love for you, okay? Like, it's just very toxic love. Like, they know they know that you're a good person. They know that you could be wish fulfillment, but their intentions towards you are all the way negative. Like, it's n not a healed person that you're dealing with. This is not a... This is not a self-aware Scorpio, okay? And now, it doesn't have to actually be a Scorpio. This person could be highly aspected with Scorpio in their chart, or they could just act like a Scorpio, okay? But I'm seeing here that you've got a lot of options in love. If you're open to it, if you're willing to receive those options in love, you've got some new chapters opening up for you, some new beginnings, some, you know, great abundance coming in here. I'm not seeing anything to do with finances, so this just feels like a very spiritual reading here. But if you choose to stay with this person, this person is going to block your creativity. They're going to block your finances. They're going to make you feel like you wasted the better part of however long you decide to stay in this relationship. Because you're going to be putting your best effort in to make this work. Because you see the best potential in this person. And that's the person you're going to be trying to deal with. But not the person that is actually right in front of you. You're going to keep putting into their energy and building them up. And when they finally feel like they're stable and secure, they're going to leave. They're going to walk away. They're not going to stay because they've taken everything that they have from you. And you'll be left depleted, looking like a little energy raisin. And they're going to be over here being a whole full bloom flower. And everybody's going to be attracted to them. They're going to be like, wow, you know, you're so, you're so different. You're so charming. Wow, you're so this, that, the other thing. But that's your energy. Everything that they take from you is actually you. So people will be admiring you through them while you're over here feeling left out in the cold, beaten down, bruised up. It's just, it's, it's just, it's, this is just not somebody that 
This is narcissistic. Like, we've been having a lot of narcissistic love readings coming up here. Good. I'm gonna light I'm gonna light us some sage here. Okay, Pisces. Let's let's sit. Let's talk for a while. Let me light some sage for us. I did just get a new shipment. A new shipment of sage in. So if you guys would like to buy some from me, you can do so through my Etsy shop. You know, support your girl. Okay. This one's kind of like a little bit beat up. I like to burn it as a whole stick and like let the smoke take over the neighborhood. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> let's go ahead and see. Let's talk about, you know, let's talk about your future. Let's talk about something good here, Pisces. Because I feel like y'all have just been dealing with so much. Like, you can never just get away from the drama. Like, people are just so attracted to you in your energy that they feel so safe and comfortable with exposing themselves to you. Like, not even, like, sexually, but, like, they just, like, dump everything out on you and they expect you to take it and handle it because of the type of person you are. And that's not fair. Like, you're always dealing with everybody's energy. You're always, you know, going through these motions. You're always healing something that isn't even yours that you've taken from somebody else. You're always dealing with everybody else's karma, everybody else's drama. And it's just like, these are not your children. These are not your responsibilities. But like your kind hearted nature just absorbs all of these people and feels so deeply like you could just never get enough. Man, I feel for you guys. Like, I feel for you. I'm I'm tired of these people coming in here and taking advantage of my Pisces. Like, I hate it. I'm tired of hearing it. Y'all deserve some wish fulfillment. Y'all deserve some peace of mind. Y'all deserve some abundance. Well deserved, okay? I'm hearing move in silence, all right? Focus on you. Focus on your energy, okay? Stay in your lane. Stay in your element, okay? Keep your energy within. And if people think that you're being stingy, if people think that you're being, you know... XYZ, if people want to call you an asshole because you're not doing favors for them, if they want to call you a bitch because you say no, that you don't want to do this, that you're no longer comfortable with this, that's their issue. That's their problem. Let them think what they want. It don't matter what they think of you because only you and God need to know what kind of person you truly are because that is the only person that's going to hold you accountable outside of yourself that truly truly knows what is best for you what is right for you and wants to see you succeed god has no ulterior motives you have no ulterior motives against yourself you see what i'm saying so like right now just you stay in hermit mode keep your energy straight because you're about to receive an outpour of abundance you're going to see this refreshing energy okay pisces there is so much good that is coming for you but you have to be able to separate from everybody else you have to be able to figure out who you actually are without all the noise without all the people around you and it's gonna suck and it's gonna hurt for a little bit because you're so used to you know absorbing and dealing with everybody else's problems that when you finally have to face your own it's gonna feel weird it's gonna feel scary because most likely there's not gonna be anybody around you most likely most like that's what really happens people are so good at taking and taking and taking but they never want to pour back into your cup because you've always been there to help them that they think that you're so good at figuring everybody else's problems out that you must not have that many that you must be able to deal with your own that you must be some kind of like ethereal goddess or a god that is just so you know good at dealing with stuff and never needs anybody you know what i mean and that was never the intention that you had when helping people you just wanted to help people like it's just it's, it'd be so ass backwards, I swear. But we got the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is you being in your Piscean water goddess god energy and vibing out and being fluid and being able to keep your energy pure, being able to take these, these spiritual baths and embrace the beauty of your alone time. You know what I mean? Being alone is a privilege, okay? I'm seeing you falling in love with you two of cups i'm seeing you falling in love with you and getting to see you for who you truly are which is this beautiful magnificent being of pure love and light that is so valuable that is a sacred treasure that does not need to give her his energy away to just anybody okay not everybody is worthy and deserving of your time of your energy of your voice of your love of your prayers 
Some of y'all are out there praying for people who are just taking this energy from you, vibing out with it, thinking that God is blessing them, but really God is only taking care of them because you love this person so much that you sent the prayer requests up and God loves you so much that God was like, you know what, this is what my baby wants, this is what my baby gonna get. So they out here living the Vita Loca, living their best life, thinking that, you know, it's all them. All the while, you're the reason why they're getting what they're getting, why everything is happening for them, because your prayers are so powerful. Because you sent this protection prayer over this person, God had no other thing though to do but to oblige, because he loves you so much. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got this direct communication, and now you've just been sitting here like, you know, maybe... Maybe I should, you know, take some time out. Maybe I should, like, figure me out, you know? Maybe I should, because once you figure out you, everything else starts to make a little bit more sense, okay? We got the tower and we got the two of swords here, but we also have the strength. So there is a lot that is happening. There is a lot that is unfolding. It could be because of this relationship. It could be because you're finally starting to see this person's true colors, because it's been like you've been taken advantage of for so long and now you're finally putting a stop to it and you're getting the backlash from that which makes no sense at all why you would even get any backlash like just have some respect for people you know what i'm saying but whatever um so it looks like this tower is being caused in order to get you to sit back relax and enjoy your own energy enjoy the presence of god enjoy the presence of the holy spirit let it overtake you get into your prayers and get close to god get close to god i am telling you you can never go wrong baby you can never go wrong i'm about to get my preacher voice out right now i'm gonna still hype the holy spirit <laughs> just be moving and grooving and wanting to talk to you and wanting to love you wanting to be there for you but you've been so distracted by everybody taking all of your time your energy your resources your love your prayers that you shut the door and you haven't been there in so long and god just wants you to be there god never left you like everybody else did god never left you behind like everybody else did and sure yeah we got some tough lessons to learn here but when can you say that god did wrong by you when can you say that there was not a blessing in disguise out of all these hardships out of all this heartbreak out of all this pain and suffering when did god not bless you when did god not come through even if it was the last minute even if it wasn't on your time even if it wasn't exactly what you wanted it was what god knew what was best for you because god loves you so much you've been protected from day one you were chosen you were chosen handpicked to be loved by the most high with the most unconditional love powerful you are so powerful you don't even know it you had all these distractions you had all these people taking your energy taking your time taking your resources now it's time for you to connect with you my pisces so where am i go ahead and wrap up this reading though if you guys liked it if it resonated go ahead and leave me a thumbs up comment down below and if you'd like to leave a donation or you'd like to book with me all the information will also be in the description box and without further ado my beautiful piscean gods i'll see you guys again i'll see you guys again very very soon peace love and light Bye.